Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this video. So today we're gonna do something really simple. Um, yes, I have long hair again all of a sudden. My Kat Von D foundation, which I typically only wear during summer and it is probably way too dark for me right now. So please just ignore that situation. Something I've been wanting to try, a very good friend of mine gave this to me. This is the Lip Sense packet. So it's a whole little kit and there's little instructions here. So let's try this on together, shall we? All right, so let me see. It has your Lip Sense Oops Remover. Okay, so I guess since it's supposed to be super strong, I guess you need this to remove it. That's what I'm gonna assume. I'll read the instructions in a second here. And then you have your Lip Sense um, Moisturizing Gloss. So from what I hear, um, and I don't know, I could be totally be wrong, this is kind of what makes it work. So like this is what gives it its lasting power. So it's just a clear gloss. Um, and then we have the color, of course. So this is a long lasting liquid lip color. And this is in the color Napa. So it's like a burgundy red color. All right, so let me read the instructions here. It's a cute little packet though, huh? All right. Oh my gosh, these are really long. That's that's a really long list of things I have to do to put lip stuff on. Um, okay, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm not gonna read all this to you. Um, I'm a slow reader. I'm not going to torture you. Let me read this. Um, put this on pause for a sec. So we're going to pause this. I'm going to read it and then I'm just going to summarize what the instructions are for you. You're welcome. Okay, so I read the instructions. So clearly I have to wipe my current lip color off. But that's pretty obvious. Um, and it says to use some sort of witch hazel, which I actually have some right here. So I'm going to grab that. So I'm going to grab my Thayer's witch hazel and a little cotton ball. And I'm going to remove this current lip color off my lips. <music> And it says to use a very thin layer and to do it in one swipe from this corner to here and one swipe from this to here, one swipe from here, one swipe from here. It's very thorough directions. I'm gonna do my best here. Um, wait, what's this? Oh, the remover, got it. All right, so I'm gonna take this color. See, never opened it. Did you guys hear that? Anyway, okay. That was exciting. Um, all right. It says do not use excess product. So wipe away excess. So that's what I'm going to do. Why am I nervous? I'm literally nervous to put this on my lips. Okay. All right. Layer one. And it does say that it may tingle, and it's definitely tingling. It's so weird. So that's from the corner of the mouth to the, it's so abnormal for me. I'm not doing it that way. I'm gonna go from here and then do this. I'll still do one sweep. All right. And it says to keep lips from touching and to keep them as still as possible while they dry. Do you guys understand that? I hear it for a second. Hang on, I'm letting it dry. All right, and then it says to apply multiple layers. What I was trying to say is it says to do two or three layers um, and to keep your lips after the first layer, I think that was the only time I had to keep them like spread so that way it creates an even surface. So I do get that. I don't know if I did a very good job at that or not, but I guess we'll find out. Um, so I'm gonna apply a second and third layer.
It's definitely tingly, like that's for sure. Um, it doesn't feel very comfortable on the lips right now, but apparently that's pretty normal. And yes, it does say that the gloss, so this Lip Sense Gloss, which I'm supposed to apply after having my final layer on 15 minutes, is the key to its lasting power. Um, it also basically indicates that once you start using Lip Sense, like this is what you should be using at all times and you're supposed to stay away from wax-based products on your lips. So, to say the least, I will never be a regular Lip Sense girl because I just can't. I, I like trying too many things. I like changing it up too often. So that will never be me. Um, but it doesn't hurt to try it every now and then. So I'll just take my chances with giving it a whirl here and there. So I'm gonna do one more layer, guys, and then I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and apply the gloss, and I'll come back to do that on camera. All right, this feels really, really weird. Uh, all right, guys, so, wow, it's like super sticky. Um, I'm gonna give this 15 minutes to completely dry, and then I'll come back and I'll apply the lip gloss on camera. Um, I'll bring you guys in super close before I put the lip gloss on, and then I'll put you super close after the lip gloss is on, and that way we can judge how we feel this is coming on um, all together. And then I am about to get ready to go out to dinner with my husband. I'll definitely be having some drinks and eating some good food. It's like a five course meal type of situation. So um, I'll be eating a lot and I'll be drinking a lot. So it's a perfect evening to see if this lip sense works. Does it stay on? Do I not have to reapply? I'm kind of, I'm excited. I, that I'm really excited to see. So if it does work, um, I may end up ordering more colors in this. All right, I'll stop talking. I'll check in, I'll check back in in 15 minutes. All right, guys, it has been 15 minutes, actually probably been closer to 20 minutes. So this is what it looks like. It's a little drying. Um, it stayed off my teeth though, so that's kind of impressive. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, let me throw the lip gloss on. Okay, so it did say to go ahead and apply lip gloss and rub your lips together like normal. So I did that. Okay, so I can definitely say that adding the lip gloss to it definitely, definitely improved the feel of the lipstick. It feels a lot better once that lip gloss is on. And it looks a lot better once the lip gloss is on. So... All right, lip gloss is an absolute necessity. Um, and it says for the lip gloss, or for the lip color to actually last its promised 18 hours to continuously be reapplying the lip gloss. So what I understand from the instructions is I don't have to carry the lip color with me, but I just have to carry the lip gloss to reapply so that way the lip color stays. So that is what, how I'm reading it. Um, let me know if you've used this before and if I'm wrong, but that's essentially the way I read the instructions. Um, 18 hours, that's a really long time. I mean, let's say it's 5.45. I'm probably only gonna have it on about five hours, but again, in that five hours, I'm gonna probably have a drink, have some appetizers, have some dinner, have more drinks, have dessert, more drinks. Um, so I think it's a really, it, it'll be a good wear test for it. I just, I wanna know if it does fine when you eat. I wanna know if it stays on. So to me, that is really the test for long lasting lip color and lip glosses. 
um, how do they withstand eating essentially so I am curious I hope you are too um, so I will come back after dinner after check it out together um, and I plan to put this in my little purse take it with me and reapply um, I'll reapply it at least once let's see how it works let's use it as directed and see how it goes so I will check in when I get home from dinner Hi guys, good evening. Wanna meet my little kitty cat? Oh, this is Bobo. He's not happy. He doesn't like this position at all. Alright, go be free. Um, um, it's been what time is it? It is about 10 p.m. So it's been about four and a half, almost five hours. Um, we went to dinner, it was um, awesome. It was like a beer pairing dinner. So it was a five course meal with um, beer pairings. So definitely ate a lot, drank a lot. You saw those pictures a second ago. I figured I'd do a quick slideshow to prove to you all that I truly was eating and drinking. Um, so I did reapply the gloss one time um, at the end of dinner, toward the end of dinner. Um, so the color itself, I mean, I'll bring you in real close or I'll come in really close. It's not bad. Like it's still super rich and like burgundy like it was beforehand. Um, the only thing I could say is that it does feel a little bit flaky. Like, it just feels a little flaky. Um, it's obviously lightened up a little bit toward the inside of my lips, but that's expected. However, it definitely has outperformed any other liquid lipstick and outperformed um, other things I've used for sure. So, um essentially I guess what I'm saying is I can 100% see how this could last 18 hours um, and the way it seems from the directions and everything is that the more often you use uh, these lip scents versus other things the more your lips will get used to it and kind of become accustomed to them and therefore cause less flaking and things like that so um, if that is true, then that's kind of cool. That means these truly function. That means these truly stay on, have good lasting power, and um, they actually, with the gloss on, feel comfortable on the lips. Um, like I said, just at the very beginning, they felt very stiff and kind of tingly and stuff, which was a little uncomfortable, but as soon as I got the gloss on, it felt a lot more comfortable. And then they stayed comfortable all evening. I did that reapplication of gloss um, at the very end of dinner. And I think that helped the color kind of invigorate itself again. So that was cool. Um, and it does feel a little bit flaky, but it doesn't look terrible. And since I suck at reapplying, um, this is definitely a good product for someone like me. So if you're out there and you really, really suck at carrying around your lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever, and reapplying, then this could be a really wonderful product for you. So um, I guess what I'm saying is I do give Lip Sense my thumbs up. I think um, they work very well. Um, to be honest, again, mine was gifted. I'm not sure how much they run, but I've heard that they run um, obviously a little bit more expensive than your typical lip product. Thank you so much again for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And if you uh, liked this video, please give me your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell um, so that way you get notified when I post. And thank you so very much. Have a good night.